Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to do an advanced virus removal on your computer. I'm going to show you how the professionals do it and what tools they use. Now if your computer is not is not um, turning on at all or not staying uh, stable enough for you to do anything on it, I recommend you turn it off, turn it back on, tap the F8 key and, and try to start it up in safe mode. Okay, I recommend you do that. All right. So the first thing we got to do is download some tools to get started. And if you don't have internet, like I said, go to safe mode. I'm pretty sure it'll work through there. And if you have the FBI virus, look at my other video on how to remove FBI virus the easy way, okay? All right. So let's go to Google. And we're going to start downloading the tools that we need. First tool we're going to need is called Norton Power Eraser. So look that up. Norton Power eraser click on the one that says free virus removal Norton power eraser okay click on the download now for the Norton power eraser Click on save at the bottom here, or save as. Click on the little arrow and then click on save as. We want to save it to the desktop. Click save. It'll start to download it. Okay, and let's go back to Google. Now let's look for a program called CCleaner. Now I already have it installed on here, but I'm going to show you how to get it. So click on the one that says CCleaner, download Paraform. Where it says download from, click on Paraform.com. It's going to come up with the window here asking if you want to run or save. Click on the little arrow again and then click on save as. And again we're going to save it to the desktop. So save. Let's go back to Google. Next tool we're going to use is called Super Anti Spyware. So type in Super Anti Spyware. Click on the first one. First link there. Now we're going to have to download the free edition here. So click on Free Edition Download. And again, it's going to come up with a run or save. Click, click on the little arrow and click on Save As. Now we're using Internet Explorer for this, so remember that. Okay, save it to the desktop also. So right now we're collecting all the tools that we're going to need. Go back to Google. Now let's look for House Call Launcher. Okay. Click on the one that says House Call Trend Micro. Okay, and go ahead and download the one that that corresponds to you, 32-bit or 64-bit. I believe I am running uh, 32. I'll just download both of them just in case. Click on Get House Call Now right here on this gray button and same thing click on save as click on desktop and save it there let's go back I'm gonna download the 64 edition also because I don't know what I'm running here I just installed this so I'm gonna download both of them just in case that way um, I don't mess up again download it to the desktop let's go back to Google we got one more tool to use here and it's called hijack this so go to Google and type in hijack this and down make sure you download it from where it says hijack this 1.99.1 .1 download and then in green it says majorgeeks.com make sure you download from there majorgeeks which is this one right here MG 
hijack this. Click on that one. Click on download for Major Geeks where it says download locations. It's going to ask you at the bottom here if you want to run or save. Click on save as. Same thing, go ahead and save it to the desktop. Alright, looks like we got all of our tools now. Let's go to the desktop. Here's all of our tools. First thing we're going to run is the C Cleaner. So open up C Cleaner. Let's run that. Now, I, I already unchecked history and recently typed URLs. You, you can modify it however you want here. And then click on Run Cleaner. So first we want to clean all this up before we do a scan or anything. Okay, once the cleaner is done scanning, go ahead and open up Norton Power Eraser. We get a security message, click Yes. Click accept on the license agreement. It's going to load up. Click the advanced button and then click on system scan, uh, scan now right here. It's going to start to scan it. Just go ahead and minimize it. Now let's open up uh, super anti-spyware and set it up. If you get a security message, click yes. Click on where it says custom install down here on the bottom of express install. Click next on the installation. Click I agree. Uncheck the Google Chrome checkboxes here. Click next. Click next. Next again. It's going to start to install it. Uncheck the Submit as System Diagnostic at the bottom here, and then click Next, and click Finished. When it comes up with this, click on Decline. When it comes up with the trial thing, just click Decline. It's going to start up Super Anti-Spyware, and it's going to get the updates real quick. While we wait for the updates on Super Anti-Spyware, let's open up House Call Launcher. If you get a security message, click Yes. Okay, House Call is going to start up. Let's wait for those to finish. Super anti spyware is just about done. Okay, super. this is Super Anti-Spyware here. Click on where it says Complete Scan here, and then click on Scan Your Computer. And click on Start Complete Scan. You can click on High Boost if you want to speed it up here, and click on Start Complete Scan. And Super Anti-Spyware is scanning. We got Norton Power Eraser scanning. And now we just got to wait for house call to download, and then we'll start scanning with this one. All right, once house call is done downloading, go ahead and click where it says accept the license agreement. Click next. Click on where it says settings right here. Click on where it says full system scan and then click OK and then click on scan now. Alright, so now we got house call, power eraser, and super anti spyware scanning. And trust me, these programs here are the most trusted 
and the ones most used by professionals. Okay, so now that it's scanning, let's go ahead and it's going to move super here. Let's open up uh, Hijack This. So go ahead and click on the Hijack This that we do downloaded to the desktop. Ch click on Browse and change that to Desktop. Click on the Desktop up here, Desktop Selection. Click OK, then click Unzip. It's going to unzip it to the desktop. It's going to say successful. And go ahead and click go ahead and open up hijack this from the desktop. It's going to say a warning, just click okay on that. All right. Click on do a system scan only. If you get an error message, click okay. Click okay if you get it again. Let's wait for it to populate. Maximize it so we can look at the whole thing. And if the screen is flashing, I'm sorry about that. It's my virtual machine does that sometimes. But from this list, select the ones that you don't recognize. If it says toolbar, I recommend you check it. So check the ones you don't want and then click on fix checked at the bottom. All right. And that that'll really uh, help you out, especially if you need to find hijackers on your uh, Internet Explorer. Okay, and looks like Power Eraser didn't find anything. That's because I don't have a virus. But Power, if you have a virus in there, I'm sure Power Eraser will find it. If it does, just follow the instructions on how to remove it. Same thing with House Call and Super Anti Spyware. If it finds something, go ahead and remove it. Just it'll walk you through it. All right, well, while our scans go through, let's go ahead and check what's called the hosts file. And this hosts file is where we can check to see if we have any hijackers that have hijacked our internet connection. So to do that, if you have Windows 7, click start and, uh, or just go to my computer. For Windows 8, hit the start button and just type in computer. Open up computer open up the C drive we're gonna go to the Windows folder then scroll down go to system 32 go to drivers go to ETC click on hosts try to open hosts uh, open it with notepad okay when you look at the hosts file it's gotta look like the one you're seeing in my screen. If it looks different, if you have over here random numbers that looks like this, you have been hijacked. Okay. What you want to do is you want to uh, make a copy of mine here, the one you're seeing here, and make sure you have it like mine. Okay. And go ahead and do that, and that'll take care of the host file. And this will really help you out if it really is hijacked okay alright there's gonna be some viruses in there that are really hidden and uh, to get to those go ahead and uh, go to the task manager to get there you can right click the the bar here at the bottom the start bar and then click on task manager okay we gotta go to startup and we gotta look at what's in the startup here if you see something you don't recognize, same thing with Windows 7. With Windows 7, you'll be looking at uh, at the processes. So we got to look at the processes, and uh, on Windows 7, Windows 8, we look at the processes and the startup right here. Okay, and we got to look for stuff that we don't recognize, and we gotta we gotta disable it from startup. We gotta look through processes. Uh, if you right click, you can end it end the task you can open file location let's say you find the virus uh, usually it's a string of numbers random numbers that you can't recognize trust me you'll know if it looks weird and it's a virus right click it and click on um, open file location and you can find it manually that way and it'll show you where it's at manually so you can do a manual virus removal that way too okay okay once you're done 
doing all the scans and removing with all the viruses go ahead and restart the computer and you'll notice a big big difference okay all right that's how you do an advanced uh, virus removal hopefully this has helped you guys a lot thanks for watching and you have a good rest of your day